Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Fleurs and today I'm taking a bit of a break from doing outside on my island. It's taking a while um, and I'm kind of procrastinating about doing my neighbourhood, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really really daunting. So I'm gonna do a bedroom speed build and we're gonna kind of make it super cosy. I want to tie in the blues and the whites and try and use some furniture that I've never used before mainly because I feel like with the cottagey cottage kind of theme that I went for in the past and like rustic maybe I've overlooked some items so I really want to try and incorporate them and make sure they get their chance to shine <laughs> so to speak so we'll see how it goes see what it turns out like so let's get started first things first we obviously need a rug so I'm gonna go in with the lacy rug. This is a favorite and I think this is versatile so we will use it wherever. And then I have done this bed. I went with the log bed. As I said, wanted something different. I've never actually used these before. So I've customized it with a super cute floral pattern. And also these starry lights. I've never used them before and they are kind of cute. And I think I can get away with using them in this room. I deliberated a bit as to what to use for the bedside tables. I decided I didn't want to use a conventional style of bedside table, so I've used one log stool and then for the other side I'm going to use a wooden stool and put some items on that. The decorative shelves just to match the log bed and then put something small on the end there as well just to add a little bit of extra detail. Oh, I forgot to mention about the wallpaper and the floor. Um, I love this white brick wall wallpaper. I think it's really cute. And obviously this light, I think it's like a herringbone sort of floor, is definitely one of my favourite floorings as well. I think it is, there's not a great choice as to what kind of wallpapers and floors are my go-to. But this floor is definitely one of them. And in the darker colour it's really nice as well. So we've kind of finished up the bed and the bedside tables, as I say I did go for the log stool in the end and I thought that the mum's tissue box was kind of fitting and if you watched my Able Sisters speed build, I tried to get this clothes closet in for a little while uh, but I did give up on it so I decided I'm going to use it in my bedroom. I still really like it, but I'm now doubting whether it clashes a bit with the wall, uh, not the wallpaper, the bedspread, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. And I never really used fan palms before, so I'm definitely gonna use all my opportunity to use them with this sort of theme. I do like it with just the white pot. I know the brown one is quite nice as well. So there are a couple nice variations on the fan pot. But I think there's a dark blue one as well. I'm just a bit stuck as to what to put over here on the left. I did think about doing a vanity sort of area, but I didn't think that's really what I wanted to kind of achieve. And I didn't have the rattan one in white, so that kind of ruled that out don't like to put too many kind of I don't like things to match too much so that's why I put the fan pan down and then took it out again but this is an item that I do love the table lamp there we go so I think we'll leave that as it is As I said, I did want to use furniture that I don't really use before. I know I used these in my for kitchen counters, but I haven't used them as an actual desk before. And I think it would be nice to have a little kind of work area as part of this bedroom. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Laptop, of course, to do some typing on and some candles. I'm not sure if you should really put candles next to a laptop or I definitely shouldn't because I'd probably knock them over or something. Uh, quite clumsy. 
and the iron shelves, I generally don't use them for interiors. Well, I never have in the past, that may change. Maybe in a kitchen I've used them before, but I thought a bedroom, something a bit different, definitely. But I like all the kind of rattan boxes that are on it, the kind of, the little potted plant on top, really, really cute. So definitely gonna try and incorporate that somehow. That's staying for sure. As with any of my builds, it really is a process. Um, just mixing things up, changing things about. I must have decided that the candles were a fire hazard because I switched them out and moved them over. did change my mind on that closet which is a shame I will use it eventually somewhere maybe well I'm sure we'll find a way if you know how to use that closed closet please let me know or if you've used it in a build I would love to see some pictures so if you're on the discord um, post them because I want to see them and that's a subtle plug um, I have started a discord guys so if you have discord and you want to come chat with us come chill we can post pictures we can give each other inspirations share design codes share your cute pet pictures whatever you feel like doing um, we've kind of got it all and I really love chatting with you guys so if you haven't thought about it definitely come and check it out I'll put the code in the description it is also on the community post so either way just come say hello and so instead of that clothes closet I've decided to go for the white iron closet instead um, as you saw I just customized it I don't know why maybe because it matches the shelves I thought it might be a better option and then the one thing that I do love about these wardrobes is that you can put stuff on top of them so if you didn't do know that it's definitely a great little tip for when you're doing interiors um, putting like sturdy sewing boxes things like that on top of them makes it look really really cute I love this blue double sofa I know there's not really anything else blue in this room but there's kind of hints of it if you look on the shelf there's those bottles so I thought why not use it Tom Nook, your daily reminder to go and check your Nook points if you haven't already in the app today to get yourself some of that furniture. I really wanted the, I don't think I had it, the sea um, painting with the sunset and boats. Am I making that up? I'm sure there's a painting like that. Um, but I didn't have it in my inventory, unfortunately. So I'm decided to make a little corner of painting over here, hence why I was looking for that picture, but I just couldn't find it anywhere. So we went with the twinkling photo, not photo, it's not a photo, uh, painting instead. And this chair, I'm definitely sure I've never ever used it in a build before, but it's actually really cute um, and you can customize it as well, which is great. So I've customized it to match the bedspread and the pattern on top of the decorative shelves, which I thought was a really nice touch. Definitely like it in the white. I know it comes in a few other colors. I think it's just deceiving when you see the yellow stripes that it, by default it comes with. Just playing it around here with what straw to put the painting set on. I went with this one in the end just because it's a bit squarer. I do like the wooden stools, but when you put a painting set on top of it, they just kind of pop off, pop off the edge. And then a cork board, another item that I've never really used. Just trying to fit it in here. It didn't quite work on that wall, so just swapping out some other bits. And I actually found that I had the lighter variation, so I thought that fit a bit better. 
Although I just realized now, watching back, there's actually a customization of a wood plank on it. Whoops. I will change that. <laughs> I didn't even notice when I was building. That's a problem about changing all your customization, custom, custom code. When you do it and you just overwrite them with other things, you just find random items that are customized to something that you don't want them to be. Again, here we go with some shoes, some slippers. I just have to put them in a bedroom. I just feel like they're a go-to thing. And I don't think I ever have a room without a floral swag because Fleurs needs her flowers. That's another thing that I was talking You just saw me put all those pillows down. That's what it's like. Because I know I have some in there that I've actually changed to a real pattern, not just got planks all over it. I'm just deciding here what to put behind that little chair. It was a bit of a challenge. I was trying to find some sort of stool or something that would just fit. The stone stool just didn't work at all. So I've gone for another ironwood chair and on top of it, just trying to find an item to put it on. In the end, we went for some sort of papers because I thought it might fit with like the work area, maybe a bit of a study area. So that is the essay set there. And then that's pretty much it. I'm not sure what else I could have added. I couldn't really added anything else to be honest. So I'm just gonna get my camera out and so we can give you some close-ups to appreciate all the details, which I love about being able to do in interiors. You get so many better angles. So here we go. So this is work area, and then this sofa chill area. There's those lights up on the wall. I should have really taken some photos while I was doing this, but yeah. I really like all the creams, the little hints of the blues and greens. I really, really like this color kind of palette. It feels very cozy in my opinion. Perfect for summer like really perfect you don't want dark colors when it's warm and hot outside so I do feel like I've managed to achieve the brief by using different furniture that than what I've used in the past definitely a few items there that I haven't obviously there's still some of my go-to favorites like the wooden stool the log stool definitely some of the items that I use a lot but hey I guess those are why they're my go-to's and you've got to have favourites as well haven't you so let me know what you guys think in the video I hope you in no wait let me know what you guys think in the comments I hope you've enjoyed it please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for another video thank you bye bye